Good morning children. Now you know how to subtract numbers. Let us see the usage of subtraction in our daily lives. In a class, there are 78 students. Out of the total of 78 students, there are 36 boys and the rest are girls. So, how many girls are there? Let us see what we know and what we need to find. We know the number of students in the class is equal to 78. The number of boys in the class is equal to 36. Now we need to find the number of girl students. We know the students consist of both the boys and girls which means we need to subtract the number of boys from the total number of students to find the number of girls. So the total number of students are 78. Let us subtract 78 minus 36. Starting from the 1's position, 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. Coming to the 10's position, 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4. So, the answer is 42. Thus, there are 42 girls in the class. Let us see again how we solve this problem. The number of students in the class is equal to 78. The number of boys in the class is equal to 36. The number of girls are 78 minus 36 which is 42. Thus, the total number of girls in the class are 42. Let us take another example. There are 1000 chairs in a stadium. During an interesting match, 983 chairs were occupied. So, how many chairs were not occupied? That is, they were vacant. Again, let us see what we need to find. We know number of chairs in the stadium is equal to 1000. Number of chairs which were occupied is equal to 983. Now we need to find the total number of chairs which are empty which means we need to find the total number of empty chairs. For this we need to subtract the number of occupied chairs from the total number of chairs. So the total number of empty chairs are 1000 minus 983. Let us subtract 1000 minus 983. Starting from the 1's place, 0 minus 3. As 3 is less than 0, we cannot do subtraction. We have to borrow from the neighbor. Let's take 1 from the neighbor which is tens. Here tens is also 0, hundreds is also 0. So we need to borrow from the thousands place. Now coming to the thousands place, it has 1. Let us borrow 1 from there. So it becomes 0. Now coming to hundreds place. It becomes 10 after borrowing from thousands place. But the tens place also needs to borrow from the hundreds place. So the hundred place after giving 1 to the tens place becomes 9. Now coming to the tens place. The tens place also needs to give or lend 
1 to the 1's place. So, the 10's place becomes 9 and the 1's place after borrowing becomes 10. Now we can subtract 3 from 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. Coming to 10's place, 9 minus 8 is 1. Next, 100's place, 9 minus 9 is 0. And finally, 0 is there at the 1000's place. So, the answer is 17. Thus, there are total of 17 chairs which are empty. Let us see again how we solve this problem. Total number of chairs in the stadium is equal to 1000. Number of occupied chairs is equal to 983. So, the number of empty chairs is 1000 minus 983 which is equal to 17. Thus, total number of empty chairs is equal to 17. So, now you know how to solve simple word problems involving subtraction. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.